Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. And yes, you heard it right. Layoffs have been started. And in this video, we will be discussing about why layoffs are happening. What are the companies that are actually creating the layoffs mindset in other small companies, why other small companies are going behind the big companies and trying to grab that layoff criteria and inheriting that layoff criteria and what you need to do as a DevOps and SRE engineer to sustain in this layoff period. Yes, let's get started. So first of all, let's see like in the recent times, according to my study, I was able to see that the company like Amazon, Google, Apple have started the layoffs guys. And you can see the Google where a 19 years experienced candidate who was with Google around 19 years have been laid off. And this guy was prominently working in the search engine department. And along with that, 16 more people have been laid off in Google. Not only this, Amazon has also started layoffs and Apple has also started layoffs. Now let's imagine this. We always follow bigger companies, right? Usually what happens, right? We have a dream to crack big companies, right? At the same time, you can consider like, how we have divided our colleges, tier one, tier two, tier three. In the same way, the companies are also divided into their employee policies, their packages, their work culture and everything. So you can see the top companies are like Amazon, Microsoft, Google and Apple. And these kind of companies actually start the recession criteria or the layoff criteria. And let's imagine that. Let's imagine that Amazon, Google and Apple have started the layoff and the smaller companies will always think like, okay, the bigger companies have started the layoff. Why can't we do that? So they will be taking out all their historical data, like based on the current structure of the organization. If any person is having the work or not, uh, what is the budget that is allocated to the particular team, how the team is getting performed in particular quarter, they will be taking out all the data and the HRs will be sitting on this data and the smaller companies prepare the data while the bigger companies are taking out the people. So once the data is ready, they will be pitching out their layoffs criteria into their employees. And you can also see that this smaller companies will always will think that, okay, anyways, the bigger companies have started the layoffs and they will be under the same umbrella, right? As a man, ki chalo ki yaar, bade company ne start kar diya, to chote company jab start karti hai layoffs, to kya hota hai na, ye sab ek hi baat mein aajata hai, ki sab layoff kar rahe hai, right? Aisa nahi hota hai ki chote companies layoff kar rahe hai, फिर पता चल रहा है बड़े कंपनीज हो रहे हैं आप देखना कभी भी बड़े कंपनीज पहले ले ऑफ करेंगे देन द इंपैक्ट विल बी ऑन द स्मॉलर कंपनीज एंड अपेरेंटली ऑन द एम्प्लॉइज ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द सेकंड पॉइंट very important we need to understand that why layoff happen basically right so layoffs happen for various reasons guys and there can be demographic geographic at the same time your organization standards and capabilities now you can think that there is a good quote which i have listened always the organization stores the amount in their bank for the next 10 years let's imagine that i am in january and i am thinking that by march my 30% of the funds which are supposed to be there for the next 10 years, I have to take out the 30% of the funds from that account. Now company will start thinking, yeah, I have to lay off or I have to do the cost optimization or I have to sell some assets like Cognizant has done. Cognizant has started selling its offices to make sure that it is not taking out the employees from the organization, right? So these kind of capabilities, they will sit and think, they will completely think in and deep dive. It's not like that. They just think like bade companies, matlab, nikal rahe, toh, chote companies just sit and yeah, isko utha diya, isko utha diya, isko utha diya, goli maro, goli maro, goli maro. Aisa nahi hota hai. They will think properly and then take out the people. Now, as you have seen, there are various kinds of demographic, geographic at the same time, the budget which is given to the organization. And you always need to imagine that there is a repository on the back end of the organization, which is getting stored for the next 10 years. As I keep, even though the company is not doing good, even though the company is not getting projects, even though the company is not going well, even though the employees are not joining, the company will have some set of X amount for itself to sustain in the market for the next 10 years. That's how the founders, the co-founders or the organizational structure is laid off. Now let's discuss about the final thing, how to sustain in the layoff guys. So I will be telling two criteria here, which every DevOps and SRE engineer needs to be followed. Now, 
I will be dividing the entire DevOps structure into part A and part B. So listen carefully. Part A will be consisting of set of tools. Part B will be consisting of cloud. Now, in order to sustain yourself, you need to more focus on the projects and also the things which are very much important to crack the interview, right? So yes, that's all for today's video. Make sure you are coming out from the recession as a recession proof person and stay tuned for more updates on the channel. If you have liked the content, like the video, share the channel link with your friends and subscribe to the channel. This is Singham signing off.